Hello everyone, this is Builder Shed here, and today we're doing a we're doing a tour of my of the modded world, modded survival Minecraft world I've played. Last video we did something similar to this. We did a tour of my my offline Minecraft, my non Let's Play survival world, which almost was my Let's Play world until. Yeah, some screwed up, but of course. Hey, hey. Yo, so. That's good. So, this is my first part of my base, and the first part of my base we made. First, I have chests. Full different stuff, heavily unorganized. Also, got a jukebox, which I have. Well. Yeah, that. Let's get you out before people people can no longer hear me. <laughs> so basically here's some of the tech mod stuff I have installed that I have like here. So there's my alloy smelter, my grinder, my compressor, industrial centrifuge. Ooh. As well as a generator. You know, like generac. You also gotta it's got a furnace and a crafting table. Mm -hmm. Next, I take a look at it. It's just my bedroom. It's really just a ceiling room where I go to sleep and stuff. Not much up here, though, though I'm obvious. Though I admit it's a cool looking place. Next place to start off will be this. So basically a general fact about this entire area. That I'm not kidding when I said that this was originally a giant was originally a crater, natural spawn crater. So I basically carved out even further and create this masterpiece. Got the animals, got a mine going down there sort of. And some other cool stuff. Got some water and stuff going down here. And goes all the way down there. It's got my nether portal, which I will go to in a bit. So here we got sunlight flying down. This switches my farm, but in that we got torches. Oh crap. So I basically took out the took the crater and I carved it out even further. That's where I get this masterpiece. This farm right here was the second thing to be built in this world. I think. Other than that. This was like the thing I was working on second. But the world. So a couple things including this down here. These are my electric furnaces for super smelting and stuff. And going down this way, we get into what was originally my mob grinder. For this world, of course. Just a nice design. Right now it doesn't work because I'm still working on it. Or dare I say, was working on it, but now put it in a hiatus. Some other cool stuff, but well, definitely include this. With this. Which would include this. Yeah, I was trying to get some other stuff worked on here, so. Let me just get out of this hellhole. Like, by the way, this is the inside of the mob. I saw clear back there. This is inside the whole mob grinding chamber. What I've been trying to work on here was basically a system where I could just basically 
just wash the mobs down here into this thing. But as you could basically see, So let's just get to a new board. And get back out of here. Let's shut that down and do a repair. Oh yeah. Wonders of being a complete idiot. Never thought you'd see this as a joke. Let's just test it out now, see if that fixes it. And is fixed. So continuing on. So here's some cup extra storage. Still heavily unreleased. So I'm walking up here. We have a little chanting station. And our cows and sheep. Yep, over oh, crap. Here's one of our exits that just lead out this way. Or of course you can exit through here. Which I've done before. But there's also squids over there just laying around, so I don't know what the heck they're doing. So back out of there. Also there's also some smokers over there. <laughs> So going down this way, we have a mine. So let's oh. jump. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, stupid me. Stupid me. Don't worry, peeps. I'm just a little tired right now, but. Let's just get down there and get that stuff back. The reason why I have these. You yeah, should get some down here. So I built basically a staircase to get up here. So this, it literally led down to Y level 11. Perfectly. So you go this way, and you get basically an entire network worth of mines. And I think that if you go this way, you will find a little mine shaft network. And well, looky here. You got an entire dang ravine and an entire mine shaft network. Which is quite a nice thing. It's a lot of exploration stuff you can do. Keep yourself not bored. Because I'm not going to go through that area completely. Just screw it. So I'll go back and deal with the other thing. Also, I don't know why the oil is like that. Throw one the torch. For no reasons. That's oil for you. So right here, 
I tried a I tried a mining tactic which involved me just basically zoom in across this. It's like mining a giant like four way down this way. Just like see if I could have a good chance of mining diamonds. I don't think I found any down this way. Like my diamonds were found scavenging ships actually I think. Let's get back up here and sh let me sh let me show you the other part of the mine. Oh. Oh. Now I'm just killing myself on accident. Okay, let's get the heck out of here, fellas. So, this is practically... This is mine number one. Now we have mine number two. This leads down to... Well... First of all, where I get my obsidian. This would be a lava pool right here. And... Entire network of... Tunnels. I use. I don't think I put anything out anywhere around here to really care about. So let's just head back to base and show you the next part. Our next part I'd like to show you would be the nether. You guys, also, I think I may have built this for, for zombie pigmen to go down and crap. Because there'd be zombie pigmen spawning right here and they'd be going this way, so. Well, so they're only right. Well, they're only nothing going. Probably do that way somewhere. Here's my little nether bait base. Here's what the, my nether area looks like. That sounds like a gay fall. But here's another with the mods I'm using. Basically, so that looks a bit better with this mod. A lot more uniqueness. I think we got all that inventory. This way, I believe, takes you to a. Yes, go there. It takes you to uh, another base of mine. No, not another nether. No, not another nether base. Which is in good old ore. Like, I do not think I'm going the right way at all. Now this peeps what you call being brainless. It's probably over here. By possible by possible chance. Sadly I have to say no, it's not over here. Nothing over there neither. Pretty sure there's some though here. My stip cell probably should should have definitely placed a torch somewhere. Oh. Is this it? Nope. Let's just get down there. Ah, uh, that's a death ball. Oh, there, there's where that's supposed to be. 
Oh, this is my little quick route over there. Oh. So I basically trek through this in that little place over there. I made this to basically save myself some time from walking down some blocks over to that area. Or actually, a kilometer if you want to be a bit more like a nerd here or something. Geez, ain't it so fun to be brainless for a couple seconds? <laughs> get me out, get me out. Let me die right here. Am I not going to die? Okay, good. <laughs> good boy, Daniel being a stupid idiot. So this is the... Uh, I don't know what my dog's in right there. So this is the other village. I've shown you on the map. This is Y coordinate 1589. And this is my base. It's literally all, oh, it's literally more than a kilometer and a half from my base. And this is practically a shortcut. So let's just eat the steak. peaceful. It's probably a better thing to be on when you're on when you're doing the tour. So heading back. Oh no. That has to be annoying. Drops. Move forward this way. Some striders over there. <laughs> oh my, I was about almost about made myself a bit disabled right there. So this is where that was? To the below. Oh my. Stupid me. Stupid me. So let's just go back over to base. Let's get back to Bates. Now it's got this door. I just started exploring a bit more the out, outside. This is what my base looks like from the outside. So I basically brought some souvenirs over from, from a bunch of exploration. 
So first of all, I brought some redwood trees, I think. Yeah, redwood trees. So now I have redwood trees growing around my base. I also have some rubber trees go growing. Well, both types of rubber trees, actually. Literally multiple types of rubber I have multiple types of rubber trees that grow here. This is a cypress log, though. Is there oak? But here's the the biome mod that I'm using this rubber tree. That's used as sort of the decoration. But my other rubber trees, I believe, are further this way. Yeah. These are the rubber trees that are in Tech Reborn, the tech mod I use, which is where you get your rubber and st stuff in to make your rubber stuff for that. No, no, what you're thinking, it's more tech rubber, not, not the other type. <laughs> so let's just go this way. This little path I made. This would actually be a lot simpler if I went via this route. So here I planted some more trees. I planted some Japanese sakura logs. So these like bring up some pink wood. Some more of the rubber log the terrestrial rubber logs. And here are some hemlocks. Also some more. I don't know if still, yeah, hemlocks. Some more tech rubble and rubber logs to put up here. Some some vanilla rubber logs some vanilla dark oak, and some Japanese maple. So let's hop in. So I think here is where we conclude it. I guess I show off some final things. Things. Okay, there is a village up here, I think. Yep, there's a village over there, but that's not something we're actually going for right now. I'll I'll get to that at some other point. So first of all, here's a village outpost. This villager outpost. This is this I think comes with the with one of the structure mods I have. Third village, the one with another portal. Village four. Village two and village one. So I've found quite a few villages like out like far outside my base. Going this way, this is where I got my Sakura and my Japanese maple logs. And over here is where I found some things. I need to 
check this one out. Seriously. But other than that, so I hope you all enjoyed my tour of my world and just my Minecraft world overall. This is Boulder Shed, and I am out. And I am out. See If you like this type of content, make sure to drop a like. If you want to see more of this content, make sure to subscribe. If you don't like this content, or specifically this video, drop a dislike. And it'd be heavily appreciated if you were to also drop a comment explaining why you disliked the video some, and some issues, also known as constructive feedback. I'll see you all next time. See ya.